What do I have? Oh God, oh God, what's going on? Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a bit different. We're building a computer and not just any computer, but a Hackintosh computer. And I barely even fit into the frame. So let's just, let's, let's go. This can be fun. Here we have all the parts for the build. And I don't think it's too important to know like exactly what the parts are. Like all you need to know is that it's gonna be an ITX build with a Ryzen 9 CPU. Those are like the key information you need to know. All right, so we're gonna start with the motherboard. And before we're gonna install the CPU, the RAM and the NVMe SSDs on the front and the back, uh, we're gonna do a wireless card swap. And why is this? Well, because Apple is Apple and Apple only supports a handful of Broadcom uh, chipsets. So we're gonna have to swap to this in order to support like airdrop and continuity and Apple ecosystem features like that. So let's do this first. Okay, so now that the covers are off of the motherboard, we can remove the wireless card module from the motherboard and all we need to do is just unscrew the screws on the back here and here. And now we should be able to just pull the wireless cord out, like so. And now we can focus our attention into this. So here's the wireless cord and all we need to do is just get the original one out of this and swap in this one. And now all we need to do is just somehow disconnect these connectors and then just unscrew this board out of this housing. I only had to bring out a knife to get it out, but now it's it's out. So like so. Let's see. Let's see how does this fit here like out of the box here yeah when I got the antennas in those that was a bit of a hassle next step is to just close this thing and put it back into the motherboard and there we go I one swapped Wi-Fi card. Now, back at the motherboard, we can just theoretically plug this in and it should work. Let's hope for the best. So just add it back in and that should fit. And now just flip it and screw it back in. So now it's in and the next part
Man, this is a tight fit. Like, look at this. I don't know if it's gonna close at all. I hope it's gonna close. I mean, it's gonna go like a bit tighter once I add the screws, but... Oh man, this is, this, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I guess this is the life of building a mini ITX case. And... I have questions about like this fitting back in there with the power connectors. Well, a bit of an update on the situation. As you can see, this area is quite jammed. And, well, there's just no way to get the power cables in there. And you could get one there, but that's not enough, obviously. So, I think what I have to do is to just remove the USB type A port completely from the front panel. Now this looks like it's actually going to work. Like, no, I can route the power cables to the GPU. to the GPU, but I had to remove the USB, but everything else can stay there. And the power button still works, cool, and everything routes nicely, like as nicely as they can right now. <laughs> Let's just close everything so it looks even nicer.
does it turn on? Let's say, okay, there's a light, I hear sounds, it's on, it's ramping up, do we get a post? Well, the fans are on. Oh, oh. Hey! Amazing. Uh, press F1, okay. And we're in. Just the mouse work. Uh, change to channel 2. Yep. Okay, well, it's gonna. No, I'm not gonna use the mouse, it's horrible. Like, look. 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 It's like a slideshow. Great. Uh, let's just go through the bio settings real quick. What do I have? Oh god. Oh god, what's going on? Why is it like this? Why is it running like all fans on and the UI is updating like this hmm this doesn't seem too good okay windows but hmm well the mouse is mouse is better do I get it? Yay! Yeah, but oh god. This is bad. What's going on? The temperatures are nice, like, like I mean... Okay. Just for a second. Okay, well, I have some troubleshooting to do, and I'll get back to you once I figure out what's what what's going on in here. I'm just so stupid, so stupid. Like. Well, let me show you what I what I what I messed up here. Like while building it, I mean there are other stuff uh, wrong with this still. Like it's still acting up. Windows, it's black screening and crashing from time to time. But at least I was able to identify why the fans are on all the time. Let me show you. Yeah, I just remembered the graphics card is actually too big to fit in here. So I need to unscrew it from the like mounting plate to get the case open. It's, it's literally too big here. So if it doesn't fit, force it. That's what I did here. So <laughs> just a sec. so this was my prop oh, sorry this this was my problem like I was I was just making assumption that hey this beef here cable this cable must be like this must be the pump cable right and this small one yeah this this, this is gonna be the like the fan cable right of course but no 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 <laughs> it's the other way around so I had I had my uh, CPU, like CPU pump and fan plugged in the wrong way around. So of course the 
CPU fan is gonna ramp up if if it's thinking that hey I'm a pump I must go fast so that was the first problem and actually other than that I'm not sure what's wrong with this thing like Windows keeps blacking out still and I also took out the wireless card thinking like hey maybe Windows is freaking out because it doesn't recognize the Broadcom card that I put in and then what else well I have also uh, I took I took out like all the I took out the god damn it this is difficult I took out the like motherboard covers and the whoop it's here the wireless cards as I said are out also one thing funny thing that happened while I was taking away the or removing the USB uh, 3 port this one from the case and I was unplugging it from the motherboard uh, the other end well the whole socket came out like look it's the black part is supposed to be in the motherboard and now it's here and I can't get it out like it's there so that happened when also when I was doing some more testing on Windows I noticed that the graphics card temperatures were like really really high even on idle like 70 degrees high on idle that should not be the idle temperature that should be like the load temperature so there's definitely something going on maybe 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 this case is just too small or maybe the case like sides are preventing the case uh, oh no sorry the graphics cards uh, fans to spin so that could be a possible cause or or <clears throat> or worse I have somehow bricked the whole graphics card or motherboard or CPU something something is not correct or something's really really wrong here and I don't know what and I just I just hope I don't have to completely replace everything because well money you know I said in the beginning this is gonna be fun and well I'm not feeling it anymore this is not fun anymore so I think the next like steps are gonna be like I'll try to run this this uh, like like kind of open bench style and see if the graphics card temperatures improve or maybe I'll just try to install the Hackintosh or macOS on here and see if that works if it's just windows being like bitchy about something i don't know bye